I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I cannot be defeated and I will not quit. Welcome to Rama Praise, a worldwide broadcast bringing hope, help, and healing for over 20 years from Kenneth Hagin Ministries and Rama Bible Church in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. And now, here are your hosts, Pastors Kenneth and Lynette Hagan. Welcome to Rhema Praise. We are so glad that you have tuned in today. Honey, today you are going to talk about managing stress. Yeah, successful stress management, I call it. Yes. You know, stress comes to us for many different reasons. You know, uh, it's not the initial stress that comes that's really, it's if you keep carrying it and keep carrying it mm -hmm. and holding on to it, then it becomes, it becomes heavy. That's right. And, but we need to get rid of all, uh, we don't, we're not designed to carry stress. Mm -mm. In fact, the, the Word of God in Peter says, cast all your care on Him. That's right. For He cares for you. Uh, we got to leave with God and not be worried about it. Now, concern is a different thing. See, worry is one thing, but concern is yes, something else. Yes, yes. Uh, so we can manage uh, stress successfully if we know how God's Word says about this. Our plans are insufficient, but God has the master plan. So let's go right now where I'm talking about successful stress management. So I am going to do a lesson this morning for you guys called Successful Stress Management <laughs> from a, a big biblical viewpoint. I uh, run across this. I think it, I, I've had it for a number of years. I think it came out of a newspaper and uh, when I was in Singapore sometime several years ago. It says, it's an it's advertisement for a, a fella. He's the pre, he is the president of an ad agency in Singapore and Hong Kong. And it said here, there are two types of people that emerge in a crisis. Those who cry and those who sell tissues. One of them manages the stress and the other one gives in to it. 2 yeah. Corinthians 1 8, and I'm going to use several different translations this morning. In the New King James says, For we do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, of our trouble which came to us in Asia, that we were burdened beyond measure, above strength, so that we despaired even of life. Now the New Living says it like this. We think you ought to know, dear brothers and sisters, about the trouble we went through in the province of Asia. We were crushed and overwhelmed beyond our ability to endure. We thought we would never live through it. Now going to Adam Clark, I like Adam Clark's commentaries. Uh, there's many different commentaries, Matthew Henry and several different other ones. And uh, you know, uh, ministers, uh, we, we're we all different and we tend to gravitate more to one commentary than we do another one as we're studying. But I particularly like Adam Clark. Uh, to me, he's a little more down to uh, earth a little bit more. He's not so theologically wordy. I guess that would be a good way to phrase it. He says the original language is exceedingly emphatic here. We are weighted down beyond what is cre credible, even beyond what any natural strength could support. He's saying here that Paul is saying he had, was weighted down beyond what he physically was able to stand up under. It was a very stressful situation. He had a lot of pressure on him. You know, did you realize stress happens to everybody? I don't care who you are, you'll, you'll, you will have some stress somewhere, sometime. Now, 
The WebMD.com says, stress is the body's reaction to harmful situations, whether they're real or perceived. When you feel threatened, a chemical reaction occurs in your body that allows you to act in a way to prevent injury. The reaction is known as fight or flight, or the stress response, it's called. During stress response, your heart rate increases, breath quickens, muscles tighten, blood pressure rises, and you're getting ready to act. It's how you protect yourself. Now, we are not an abnormal just because you have a stressful situation. Now, the problem is that some people have been stressed out so long that they have taken it up as a normal lifestyle, which is harmful to you spiritually and naturally. One article says this, stress isn't always bad in small doses. It can help you perform under pressure and motivate you to do your best. But when, you consist, when you're consistently running in emergency mode, your mind and body pay the price. Now, the word stress is not mentioned in the King James or the New King James. Instead, these words are used. Instead of stress, worried, anxious, pressed, pressure, strain. Now, the more modern translations, New Living and, and, uh, and the Method versions, mentions the word stress in various verses. Why am I talking to you about this today? Because we are living in stressful times. So, everyone faces stress. Everybody. It depends on how you deal with it, whether you're going to come out on top or not. 1 Peter 1, 6 in the New Living Translation says, So be truly glad, therefore, be truly glad. There is a wonderful joy ahead, even though you must endure many trials for a little while. A little while. 1 Peter 4, 12. Dear friends, don't be surprised at the fiery trials you're going through as if some, some strain, something strange were happening to you. From these verses that Peter's writing here, we see that stress and strain and situations are going to be a normal part of our human existence on this earth. But he says, for a little while, that means it's not going to last. You're going through. That means you go in and you come out. He's emphasizing, really, that these things are temporary. They're not lifestyle. You know, I think too many people have forgot about the temporary part, and they're more prone to make stress a lifestyle rather than a temporary roadblock. You know, all of us are different and we have to really stay on top of ourselves or we find ourselves, you know, some of us can keep our focus on the situation being temporary and easily handling a situation while others seem to get in the idea and begin to think, oh, is this ever going away? This is not ever going away. And they become, become stressed out thinking about what might happen, what could happen, and what usually never happens. Hello. You know, what are some of the things that cause stress in your life? 
Well, we've, we've just dealt with one called a pandemic. <laughs> We're still dealing with it, to, uh, to, <laughs> you know. Other things that cause stress is pressure from your job, financial problems and situations, health situations, problems in families and relationships. The biggest one that Christians deal with is their spiritual relationship is not where it should be with God. I didn't say they weren't born again. I didn't say they wouldn't go to heaven, but they're just not living in line with the word of God. And you know, when you don't live in line with the word of God, the Holy Spirit is always trying to prompt you to get you back over where you need to be. Anybody ever notice that? And if you are digging against that, it can become stressful. Anybody ever been there? Well, I have a few people that lifted their hand with me. <laughs> you notice I lifted my hand. I'm no different than anybody else. Now, how we handle this stress, these situations, if you want to call somebody, oh, I don't want to call it stress. Well, it's situation you're dealing with, whatever. Uh, they come from, you know, having too busy of a schedule, constantly being in a hurry. Stress can come to you from not prioritizing what is most important. Stress can come because you keep putting off a situation because you don't want to deal with it. You know, being anxious about things. Worrying. I didn't see there's a difference between worrying and being concerned. My dad used to teach this, taught me that. You you can not handle stress properly because you watch too much of the negative news. Another thing that causes stress is unforgiveness or offense. Another thing that causes stress in people is comparing yourself with, to others. The Word of God says, you are fearfully made, you are you. Sometimes people get in stress and get in a, because they try to be somebody that they're not. Hey, that's the one thing I have never been accused of. <laughs> Anybody that's known me for very long knows me. <laughs> I'm the same today as I was <laughs> 20 years ago, 30 years ago or whatever. I'm just, I'm just me. You know, I, Several years ago, I was talking to my sister about something, and I said something, and she said, oh, that's just you, Ken. Because I just, I just accept things as they are. I deal with them, put them behind me, and go on down the road. I had somebody come up to me, not, oh, I, time flies now. We hadn't been out on the road, so it was, it was back when we were out traveling. And they, they, were, they had gone to Raymond and they came and they wanted, they, I got to apologize to you. Do you remember when the sudden, I said, no, I don't remember it at all. I said, well, I accept your apology because I never hold on to anything. If you hold on to stuff, well, some people say, well, I'll tell you what, I'll never forget what so-and-so done to me. All you're doing is blocking the channel and you'll be stressed out over it. You see, a fellow that lived a long time ago, Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor, from 161 to 180 AD, he said this. 
If you're distressed by anything externally, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to, but to your estimate of it. And this, you have the power to revoke at any moment. That's a good statement. Made a long time ago. Continual stress is harmful spiritually and naturally. We are not designed to carry things because Peter writes to him and told us to cast all of your cares over on Christ. We're not designed to do that. that Christ didn't, God didn't design us that way. He designed us to live in line with his word, no longer a slave to fear. We just sang about it. Right now, fear is running rampant in our country. And fear is causing people to do things and say things that they, if they were thinking right, they would never do or say. It's the truth. Fear causes you to react in the wrong way. God did not design us that way. Now, John Newton, an Anglican clergyman, said this, we can easily manage if we will only take each day the burden appointed to it. But the load will be too heavy for us if we carry yesterday's burden over again today and then add the burden of the morrow before we are required to bear it. Did you, did you hear what that said? That said, you can't, you know, things that stress you will become heavier the longer that you carry it. An instructor was walking around a room teaching a stress management class. She picked up a glass of water. I got a picture. And they immediately thought, well, she's going to ask, is it half full or is it full and so forth and so on. With a smile, she said, asked, how heavy is this glass of water? Of course, there were many different answers of, of the weight. Some people said, oh, it's probably eight ounces, 20 ounces. She said, the absolute weight doesn't matter. It depends on how long you hold it. If you hold it a minute, it's not a problem. If you hold it for an hour, your arm will begin to ache. If you hold it for a day, your arm will become numb, almost paralyzed. In each case, the weight of the glass doesn't change, but the longer you hold it, the heavier it becomes. See, this is getting heavier. I can feel it, and you, you can see that I'm beginning to strain a little bit. And I've only been holding it for a minute, two minutes, three minutes. It wasn't heavy at all when I first picked it up. But you see, it's not the weight. I stretched over here, it's not, it doesn't feel heavy at all. But it's the longer you hold on to it, the heavier it gets. The longer you hold on to stress, the heavier it gets, the more weighted down you will be. You know, Winston Churchill said, when I look back on all the worries, I remember a story that an old gentleman told me on his deathbed that he had had a lot of troubles in life, most of which never happened. A lot of our stress comes from things imagined, not actual fact. You see, if you 
consistently are worrying about whether you're in control or not or are losing control. Or when stress then becomes, gets a hold of you, you lose, you lose your energy to do anything. If you give in to stress too long, you begin to have feelings of frustration. Sometimes even moody. When you hold on to stress for too long, it becomes heavy on you. You're easily agitated. See, I'm not saying all this to you to try to get you to begin to think about stress. What I'm trying to say to you is, hey, if you got some of these signs and some of these things, check to see if you're carrying too much stress. You know, we can manage all of the stress that comes into our lives if we know what the Word of God has to say. And in fact, our offer That's goes right. right along with this. Uh, actually, it's uh, Dad's three CDs, Casting Your Cares Upon the Lord, mm -hmm. and then my three CDs, Keeping stress from becoming distress. Yes. You know, so, and that's what I was talking about stress in here. And then the book, How to Turn Your Faith Loose. This tells you how to, how to believe the Word of God and get it to come into your life. All of those are available for a gift of $28 or more. Uh, keeping stress from coming, becoming distress. Uh, if you liked what I talked about, about successful stress, then you need to get a hold of that. That's right. You know, honey, actually, it's the enemy that, that brings thoughts to us. Yes. That causes the stress. And I, you know what I do uh, when the enemy tries to bring those thoughts to me and we, we live in stressful situations all the time. All the time, yes. And everybody does. Everybody does. And so when he does, you know what? I yell at him. I <laughs> yell at the devil. And what? how do I yell him? I quote the Word of God. That's right. And that's why that it's so important, as we've talked about all month, yes. to know the Word of God. Know what the Word says. stand on, on the his word. promises. Right. And to rejoice. Yes. Um, that brings me to a story that your dad uh, used to talk about. I, I, I can't, I don't remember all the details, but um, he would, um, it, it was like the enemy would keep on bringing him these thoughts. Yes. And, um, and, and he'd start laughing at the devil. Yes, yes. And, um, and he would just laugh at him every time he would bring the thoughts. Right. And so it's important, rejoicing, laugh at the the devil. In fact, uh, in Proverbs says, laughter does good like a like medicine. Like a medicine. That's yes, right. Yes, That's yes, right. Yes. So take your medicine every day. And when the enemy tries to bring stressful things to you, stressful thoughts that, you, you know, he wants you to worry. But when he brings those to you, just laugh at him. Amen. You know, talking about dad, we have created a, a new uh, category in, at rhema.org. At, at rhema mm -hmm. It's called Timeless Teaching, and it's, uh, it's his teachings, audio and video teachings. And he, he does such a great job of teaching these, and yes. they're available for you. I know that many people uh, here a while back, we ran one of these in one of our... Mm -hmm. one of our uh, Rainbow Praise programs, and many people really liked it, and yes. so we thought, well, hey, here, this is a this, and, and so they're there. Mm -hmm. If you want to see them and hear them, just go there to rainbow.org. Ladies, we're less than a month away from Kindle the Flame Women's Conference, September the 24th through the 26th. You can go to rhema.org slash KTF and register. We're going to have an awesome, awesome time. Uh, it's our 20th year. It's our 20th conference. I, it's hard to believe uh, that it is. I remember our first conference was after 9-11. Yep. 
And, you know, this conference is after some things that have been going on here in our United States. But I want to tell you what, we're going to have an awesome, awesome time. So I encourage you to go to rhema.org slash KTF and register. Oh, good. Come on down. Yes. Hey, guys. Get your lady here. They will enjoy it and it'll change their lives. That's right. Well, you know, you can find us on a lot of platforms. Yes. Um, you can go to rhema.org. You can go to YouTube at Rama USA, rhema.tv, Facebook Live. Our services are on uh, Facebook Live, our church services. Also at rhema.tv and they're yes. on the YouTube. Yes. So every Sunday at every 10, sun mm -hmm. that's Central Time. That's right. And 6 o'clock on, on Sunday, Sunday night. And 7 o'clock on Wednesday. I call it our power, 7 to 8 mm -hmm. on Wednesday. Wednesday night. Yes. And then if you want to listen to our radio broadcast, you can go there and listen, or there's podcasts there that mm -hmm. you can get a hold of. Or if you want to see our magazine, That's Word right. of Faith magazine, it's there. To, you can read it online or you can download it. Yes. And there's daily devotions there that you can go every day and have a devotional. Yes. There's articles that you can read. Uh, you can watch Rhema Praise On Demand. Yeah, it, if you there. miss some of the programs, you can go on demand to Rhema Praise and watch And that. also we got, uh, there's conferences that mm -hmm. are there. Our past conferences we've had yes. are there. And the Rhema USA app is available for the iPad, the iPhone, the Android, and Google Play. So, That's right. hey, that, we're everywhere. We are everywhere. You can, you can, <laughs> you can make contact with us. Well, Thank all of you for helping us to bring hope, hope help, and, and healing, healing to, to the, the world. world. Casting all your care, casting all of your concerns, casting all of your anxieties, casting all of your worries upon Him. Now why? Because He cares about you affectionately and He cares for you watchfully. Casting your cares upon the Lord and encouraging in timely three CD series, plus a slimline book, How to Turn Your Faith Loose, both by Kenneth E. Hagan, and a powerful three CD series by Kenneth W. Hagan, Keeping Stress from Becoming Distress. To stay out of stress and strain, it takes God. Our understanding, our wisdom is very finite, but His is unlimited. The six CDs and Slimline book can be yours for a gift of $28 or more. So call toll-free right now, 888-PRAISE-8, or log on anytime, day or night, to order at rhema.org. For Canadian orders, go to rhemacanada.org. Do it today. Thank you for watching Rhema Praise with Kenneth and Lynette Hagan. Kenneth, Lynette, and Rhema Bible Training College are committed to reaching the entire world with the gospel of Jesus Christ and training laborers for the end time harvest. If you have prayer requests or would like more information about Rhema, please call, write, or visit rhema.org. Thank you for being with us today and for your faithful support. And remember, there is hope, help, and healing for a hurting world.